Hey guys, welcome back to another Black Series 6 inch Star Wars action figure review. <laughs> I'm just getting tongue tied with the title these days. Um, Han Solo in Stormtrooper disguise. Really excited about this figure. Kind of bummed about what happened when I got it out of the box, and I'll explain that in a minute. Those of you following me on Instagram and Facebook probably know about this, and I'll quickly run you through it in a minute. So, quick look at the packaging. Cool image of Han and Luke there. Looking forward to getting the Luke, mind you. Um, it'll be good to finally pair those two up. You can see there, Han Solo disguises himself in Stormtrooper armor after the Millennium Falcon is forced to land on the Death Star Battle Station. So, yep, yeah, pretty pretty standard packaging. Nothing too exciting there. The figure. Really excited to get this one. Like I said, bummed out what happened when I got it out of the packaging. Alright, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll remove the accessories. Now... I'm gonna give it a warning. Um, I do I do this religiously now anyway. Since since I've done this, it's uh, just being really careful with the joints um, because this wrist joint here, which moves up and down, it it just the first time I moved it, it just snapped clean off, leaving the peg in the arm, and just yeah, absolutely just snapped clean off, which was absolutely devastating. It was a brand new figure. These cost me about 45 bucks each to get them shipped to me in Australia. Um, the Australian dollar is doing really crappy, crappily against the American dollar at the moment. Um, it's like uh, Australian dollars equal to about 70 cents or something. I can't remember. But anyway, what could have, should have cost me about 30, 30, 32, 33 dollars. Cost me 45. Um, so kind of expecting a little bit better but you know I've luckily I've got the bits and pieces and I've got the knowledge to be able to fix it which I did it's not a black joint it just needs a bit of paint but the joint works it looks good it's fine it moves moves as good as it should um, that's how it should have moved out of the box it's fine now I'm happy with it um, like I said just gonna put a little bit of black paint because the joint wasn't the same color but like I said, I'm still happy that I fixed it, but that was that was the flaw because I really really like the rest of the figure. Um, now accessories comes with the standard E11 blaster, which is nice. It's got a little silver spot on it, which is cool. Um, seen it a few times now, so that's all right. And the stormtrooper helmet, which looked a little bit weird out of the packet. Um, it just looked a bit skinny. It, looked, the, it was underdone paint-wise. The eye lenses weren't filled in properly, so I've had to touch them up with a very, very fine paintbrush. Um, and then before that, I've just sort of dunked it in boiling water because it was sort of squashed in the packet and it looked looked skinny like that. It just looked bizarre. So you just drop it. It dropped it in um, holding some tweezers or something, pliers, grip it in a pair of scissors lightly. Just dunked it in some boiling water and it's sort of flexed it back to the shape it should be. And it looks fine now. I've sort of touched up the paint a little bit. That sort of black brow line wasn't fully painted. Um, it's not as tidy as it could be. I still could fix that up a little bit. But I'm not too fussed at the moment. It looks fine. Um, just the painting was just a little bit slack on this piece. But that's okay. I've got it, got it to where I want it pretty much. And, um, well, the, the trooper helmets in the film weren't all that tidy anyway. But Han, I believe it's the same head from the original Han Solo. I haven't like, popped them off and compared them in close detail. Hair's just a solid colour this time around. Um, just from memory, I can't actually see it. It's quite dark in this room at the moment. Despite the lighting... A little bit there we go I really like what they've done with the neck collar here if you see that you drop that on that just gives it a, makes it look like they've got that the actual collar from the uh, stormtrooper armor whereas the uh, proper not regular stormtroopers didn't really need to have that on because their helmets sort of sat pretty solidly so the helmets sits on reasonably well looks good I prefer to have him holding it but uh yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, Luke coming out. I like the way that they've 
done, Luke. So they've so these armor sits a little bit lower over the um, torso piece there, and I'm not sure if they've done anything else, any t any other tinkering to make him a bit shorter. But yeah, he is a little short for a stormtrooper, so it just works out that way. There's obviously they use the uh, stormtrooper sand trooper body here because they've got the peg hole in the back for the backpack, which is not a big deal. Articulation wise, he's got the swivel ball joint on top, he's got the ball hinge neck, he's got the ball hinge shoulders, the double double hinge elbows, he's got the hinge wrists, once again be careful, the ball joint and torso, which a little bit clicky for some reason, I'm not sure why, that's okay, ball jointed, uh, what are those things called, thighs, <laughs> swivel thighs as well, which are a bit tight, but that's alright, uh, the double jointed knees and the ball hinged ankles again, which is good. So all in all, pretty good figure, despite the issues I had straight out of the box. We shouldn't be having those issues, not at $45 a figure. Um, this is just another one of those sort of cheap repacks they've been putting together for years. Hasbro, they've been doing it for such a long time. It's just a cheap, cheap, quick swap, um, bang out a new figure. We all go and spend more money on them. But at the end of that, it's fine. I'm happy with this one. I want the Luke. I'll be getting the Luke and I'll be being pretty damn careful with it as well. So uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know your thoughts and feedback down the bottom. And uh, yeah, I'll be back very soon with some more videos. So until then, may the force be with you.